I believe anyone can learn Fanny. If you master the six combos that I will show you, you will become a decent Fanny user. First combo, back and forth. And as the name suggests, you're just going back and forth with just one cable. This is the most energy efficient combo that you can do with Fanny. So use this when you want to conserve energy if it's very low or to conserve energy even if it's still full. And this will be your main combo in the early game. It's so versatile that you can use it in any phase of the game. In this example, we're still in the early to middle game. And this is particularly good when the enemies are lined up like this one and when they already used up all of their CCs and shout out to Belleric here for tanking all of that damage in CCs and for the good set. And it's also useful in mid to late game. Please notice that in this example, I use double cables to get to the enemies faster. This is a faster version of the back and forth but it drains twice as much energy, so be careful with it. And once you reach level 4, you can combine all other combos with the back and forth. You can practice it like this and eventually progress to more advanced versions like the zigzag cables. If you master this, I promise you your fanny would start to become playable. And that's the reason why this exercise is one of the very first drills that the bootcamp members do. This works very well if combined with combo number 2, the wall spam. When hearing about wall spam, you might imagine this. But do you know that there are three levels of wall spam? First is the slow speed wall spam. Then the medium speed. And third, the fast wall spam. Now, wall spam is very notorious for draining energy. So let's do an experiment. First with fast wall spams. And as you can see, it drains energy quite quickly. Now let's look at medium speed wall spams. As you can see, it saves and regenerate a good amount of energy. Keeping up this pace, let's fast forward to 40 seconds later. The blue buff is almost gone but we're still around half energy. I can do this all day. Of course you could. If you use medium speed ball spam, you have more energy and more damage, just like in these examples. In some instances, you might only need to use the wall spam once as long as it's combined with other combos. Here, it's combined with the ultimate, and in the next one, it's combined with just the first skill. In the next two examples, we're doing a wall spam right after two cables. And it is very deadly if you combine it with the back and forth cables. In order to do a wall spam, you need to walk away from your target and hold your joystick. As you can see, I'm locking this joystick and I'm not letting go. Once you're in a certain distance, cable towards your target. This is the slow wall spam. This is the medium speed wall spam where you don't have to walk as far. And for the fast wall spam, you only need to walk away a little and then spam your cables. Next up, we're gonna finally talk about two cables. So basically, you're gonna fire a second cable while you're still in the air after firing the first one. This is how it works. If you fire two cables, consider the angle between the cables. Fanny will move towards the midpoint of the angle. In other words, Fanny will travel through the middle of the two cables. Here's another example towards another direction. Now, how far Fanny will travel is affected by the angle of the cables. The wider, the shorter the travel distance, and the narrower, the longer the distance. This is the reason why you'll get so far in tight spaces like this and this. This will be your main combo in moving around the map quickly without spending much energy. So practice this in all the lanes and practice it moving forward with two cables and practice two cables backwards as well. And this is bottom lane. This is for invading red buff after taking the blue and you can also take the other route for invading the red buff. And here are some examples. And this is from the other side. Using this route, you can go straight to top lane.
At the same spot, you can easily go to top lane to gank. And here's an example. If invading or ganking is not an option, then you can use this route to go from your blue buff to your red buff. If you want to invade the enemy blue after taking your own red, take this route. And here's an example. Or if you want to gank bottom lane, you can take this route from the same area. And here's an example. And after ganking bottom lane and you want to go back to your jungle to farm, use this route. Or if there's an opportunity to gank mid lane, you can use these two cables. And here's an example. The same goes with top lane. After finishing the gank, you can use two cables in order to go back to your jungle or add two more cables in order to gank mid lane. And here's an example. By the way, I will be uploading dedicated videos for each of the combos mentioned here in much detail and with much more examples for you, so subscribe for that. Next up is Direct Double Cables. This is using two cables to the same point in order to get there faster than just one cable. You can use this if you have direct access to an enemy who's standing right in front of a wall and you can get there very quickly. In this example, I used the double cables to chase Saber in order to get to him quickly and execute my combos. And here's another example at mid. And a similar example with a different target. This is particularly useful if you mix it in with back and forth cables with multiple enemies. As you may already have noticed, doing just one cable for back and forth is a bit slow and if there are multiple enemies, you'll give them a chance to deal damage to you and makes you an easy target for stuns and CCs. But if you mix in double cables in multiple enemies, then it will be much harder to catch you. And you can use it to catch your enemies off guard like this one. It's much powerful when combined with other combos, ones that are already mentioned and ones that I will mention next. Attack Skill 1 Attack or ASA. This is a burst combo that you can use when the enemy is very close to you and is a great substitute when your ultimate is in cooldown or you're still below level 4. But we all know that during a game, enemies would not come close to Fanny unless they think they could kill Fanny. So we need a way to close the gap. And so we can use the previous combos to get near to Fanny and then execute the ASA. You can use double cables or you can use standard two cables to close the gap. Here's an example where you can use the standard two cables to close the gap, do the ASA and then chase down the enemy with the standard back and forth cables and other combos. Most of the times you won't be needing the entire ASA combo. In this example, Lolita's health was so low that skill 1 is just enough. And then you can proceed to use other combos to secure the kill, in this case the back and forth. In the next example, we only use skill 1 once we're near Vixana and finish her off with the back and forth cables. In the next example, we combine the ASA with the medium speed wall spams. Here's an example of bridging the gap with two cables and doing the ASA. In this example, when I was about to press skill 1, Noveria knocked me back with flame shot, but you can still close the gap with double cables. After doing the ASA combo, make sure you have enough energy for an exit. And don't linger too long within tower range or when the enemies can freely hit you and damage you. Here are some examples from Privacy who is one of our bootcamp members. Next combo, ult plus ASA. This is simply combining the ultimate with your ASA. This is the ultimate burst combo for Fanny that deals large amounts of damage in the shortest possible time. And there are two ways to make it deal even more damage. Number one, when using this combo mid-air or during flight, it deals extra damage. And number two, by using prey marks. And we're gonna talk about that in the future video when we're talking about three cables. For now, we're gonna focus on using this combo mid-air or during a flight. And you can use one cable, and here's an example. Or you can use double cables to the same spot, and here's an example. And here's another one. And another one. You can also use the standard two cables to initiate and execute the ult plus ASA combo. 
And here's an example. And another example from another angle. And another example in another lane. And another example at top lane. And here are some examples from our featured member today from Privacy. If you want to learn Fanny in 30 days, check out the 30-day Cable Mastery Bootcamp in the description below. Thank you and see you there.